Hi, ladies of the right and proper, right and proper ladies. Ellie, Zoe. It's Lindsay, Sonia, and Bethan. I always, I always forget the, uh, I always forget Lindsay. But then uh, I haven't seen her that much, and I don't really know her, so I think that's kind of understandable. Uh, I was watching uh, Zoe's uh, beginning uh, video, and uh, you realize it's kind of hard to take uh, to uh, kind of uh, get a theme going every week because uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really be able to get it going, but. Uh, I think uh, in that position it is kind of tough, and so rather than having her come up with necessary when she doesn't come up with a theme, she can be the theme. So I'll pull it out the theme as hyperactivity, and I kind of like the theme hyperactivity because, uh, uh, like her, I'm also very hyper. I've got my moments, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> talking. You know, most of my videos are. Are quite long. They're usually around the uh, they're usually 15 minutes plus. Uh, uh, 10 minutes is, ra is 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 rather short for me because I do have no. I don't have a, a lot to say. Just I have a tendency to ramble. If you haven't noticed, and I have I'm in my, uh, my my fun place. But this is where I d I'm now doing all my uh, doing my comments back here. Particularly if it's a one shot thing, I don't have to do any editing into it. So it goes straight right from uh, the computer right to YouTube so I'm doing this off the uh, the record thing the uh, webcam recorder on uh, YouTube and I got my little stuffed animals uh, I don't have any tea yet with me right now I have uh, what do I have I just had a bowl of cereal it's around five o'clock in the morning I should be sleeping but uh, uh, my sleep my sleep schedule is kind of off so Anyways, uh, I thought the you know the hyperactivity thing would be f would be fun to do. Uh, uh, I don't find Ellie's voice annoying at all. <laughs> I would mind if she spent a little longer. And she's always she's she's kind of an uh, she's kind of an interesting person even though she's hyper. So, and if, and if for spiders, uh, and this is what her discussion was on spiders, and uh, she's kind of, she's kind of afraid of them. <laughs> but uh, I'm not. The, the spiders are the one bug that they allow to stay in my place, because spiders are actually a helpful bug. They uh, eat all the other bugs, so if you have spiders in your place, don't kill them, because they take care of all the other bugs who come in. And the other bugs are worse than the spiders, so uh, you want to get rid of all the other bugs, you want to take care of the bugs that come in, leave your spiders there. Anyways, uh, I think that's going to be it for uh, this week's video. I had some more stuff I wanted to say, but I can't remember what I was going to say. So uh, I think I'll cut this uh, video short and say thank you. This is my gift for you guys, for the right and proper ladies. Uh, I hope to see you guys, see everyone next week. Ellie, Zoe, uh, Lindsay, and oh, that's what I wanted to talk about. Huh. I know I was just talk about, uh, talking about math just pop back into my head again so we're gonna back up from the end and from the exit and tack on a little bit and it's about Zeno's paradox in the math well I'm an astrophysicist so math is not necessarily a problem for me although uh, like everything else I have a hard time remembering everything I'm supposed to know because there's so much to know so more often than not I know how to work with it and I go back to my books and references in order to sort of figure out the exact details that I need when I'm when I when I'm pick when I'm using it. Uh, but uh, on Zeno's paradox, Zeno's paradox uh, was a fun thing for me in the beginning. That's the first one of the first things we had sort of talked about in math. But it quickly ended when you got into calculus and the quantum physics. Because Zeno, Zeno's paradox actually has a solution to it, and that's the fundamentals of physics, uh, the fundamentals of calculus. The fundamentals of calculus, known as limits, uh, provides the answer to Zeno's paradox. So Zeno doesn't necessarily isn't, isn't is no longer uh, a 
there's no longer necessarily a paradox, but rather a form of physics, uh, for a form of calculus, and physics too, because we, we did both, we did Zeno's paradox in both physics and calculus. Uh, consequently, because Sir Isaac Newton is to physics what he is, but he's, he, like, he was a physicist, a natural physicist, but he also developed calculus. He was him and the an another uh, the German scientist Leibniz uh, were the ones who developed calculus, not together but separately. And so Zeno par Zeno's paradox can cross over between calculus and physics. So that's that, and that gets into uh, that gets into that's for so that's what's it. No, it was, uh, who, I can't remember who did this, I can't remember who did this, the, uh, Zeno's Paradox. I think it was, uh, Zoe who did the Zeno's Paradox. And, I think it was Beth and did time travel. Uh, and time travel was a bizarre thing, too. And they kind of, when they do time, time travel on TV, particularly with Doctor Who, the actual physics of it is not actually explained. It just sort of happens. And... That's why um, you <laughs> you have time travel the way it is, and they, they, uh, this is sort of, sort of like uh, they, they do this all the time in in most of the science science fiction shows. In order for the show or a story to be told, uh, they kind of fudge the physics a little bit in order to uh, make things work. Like you have uh, for the transfer transporters. Because you have the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, that you can never really assemble anything exactly perfect. You can only get an approximation. Uh, they have something known on the Star Trek transport as the Heisenberg uh, uncertainty compensator. In other words, it, it corrects for the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, allows them to assemble and reassemble the person as they transfer it back. Trans transport people back and forth between, you know, whatever, the starship and to wherever they're going. That, that, that's, you know, that's, I guess that's, that's kind of the fun part of this and the different paradoxes. Of course, uh, I played up the, uh, I, I, I did my paradox rather than the paradox. And it, it, I was able to do, to do that with, uh, keep it within the the definition of paradox, which, which uh, includes absurdities. Anyways, I think that's about it. Uh, since it's getting late, it's near the end of the day, and I have other stuff to do for tomorrow, so that's why I'm doing this now. So I will say f goodbye, farewell, uh to the right and proper ladies. I'll see you next week. So, Ellie, Sonia, no, Ellie, Zoe, S Lindsay, Sonia, and Bethan. Have a great week.